what we are talking about here are Visual Studio snippets. So I will start sharing my screen in a second. In the meantime, the snippets themselves are available um, there in the link that I pasted into the chat window. Now, if you're not entirely familiar with the notion of snippets, I'm sure everybody here use them, even though possibly uh, they don't know that is how it is called. Uh, snippets are well little code snippets that you can uh, that you can generate uh, pieces of code with. Uh, can you see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. And um, in the Orchard Dojo library, there were uh, snippets. Uh, we have added them a very long time ago, years ago, and then added them uh, throughout uh, for a bit for ASP.NET and VC development, uh, but mostly for Orchard 1 development. But there were no snippets for Orchard Core, uh, but they are not there are now. And so the goal of these snippets is that you should be able to very quickly generate some, some useful pieces of code. Like uh, when you want to create a migration class, you can just hit OC, uh, OC migrations or just OCM, as you can see, tap, tab, and now we have a migration. Uh, and it's a new thing. Um, it came with one Visual Studio version that uh, namespaces are also included. So this was previously only available for Visual Studio, uh, for Visual Basic snippets, actually. It was pretty, pretty interesting uh, scenario or pretty interesting situation. But now uh, namespaces are also included. Uh, but if you want something like a migration class for, for content, then you can use the content migrations uh, as snippets. And we are now in the title. Uh, title mat, uh, title module so well let's call this title migrations enter and now we are here and we also have snippets for here so for example if you want to add an alter part definition call here uh, for the title part we now have that here so we can make it attachable and similarly we have snippets for 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 all the common scenarios um, so, um, for example, if you want a startup class, you can add the OC, OC startup. So all the Orchard core snippets are prefixed with OC, and all the generic snippets are not prefixed with OC. That's not the latest version of the startup. Um, there is a simpler I... one now, but you, you will update right. it. That's fine. You don't need to inherit from startup base, and you don't need to override the method. So that's cleaner. That's just saying. Oh well, uh, then, then this is uh, this is a prior version. Um, uh, nevertheless, uh, if you have a startup class and you want to add services, uh, then you can use something like serve sc as in services scoped, because now you can uh, specify the service registration here. And there are a lot more. Um, so we we really try to find all the very useful scenarios, um, not, not to be uh, overly opinionated, but sometimes we need it to. So for example, if you want a driver, uh, you can have the, the basic driver like this, and then you can write the methods here, or you can have a full driver. And this is available for parts as well as for fields, which is, well, a driver with all the display and then its methods. Of course, this is not suitable for every driver, uh, but I think this is kind of a good baseline uh, for most scenarios. And if you don't want the exact same thing, then you can just use the simple driver and write your own code, of course. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Uh, there are a lot more, um, as you can see, for, for all kinds of common scenarios, for part, part and field development, background tasks, menus, um, but not. Um, go check out under the link. Um, if you if you clone the repository and point Visual Studio to it, all of these will be automatically added for you. Thank you. Do you have uh, snippets for um, building sites like displaying a content item, like Razor templates, Razor snippets? Razor. There is one single Razor snippet actually. Uh, if there is a razor file here, yeah, um, we, yeah, uh, the razor snippets is not something that we we uh, have taken too much time on creating. But there is an OC jQuery block 
which is which is this one. Yeah, the indentation here is funny. I'm not, not sure why. But nevertheless, uh, you can add a little jQuery block like this. We'll probably add more razor snippets in the future. Thank you.